Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Going at you 11 November. It's Veterans Day in America. Canada also on holiday, so it'll be a uh, reduced liquidity today. Calendar's totally empty. Um, we did have some news overnight. Kiwi uh, was the big mover. RBNZ didn't move rates. Created a little new lending program, but it was pretty positive on the economy, so Kiwi shot up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight straight days now. Um, don't know what to say with Kiwi. I mean, there it is. They're pretty positive on the economy. I can say this, rates everywhere in the world are higher. Um, and so the bond markets are... are um, Pricing in uh, future growth or pricing in uh, some sort of prosperity. Um, voila, here's Kiwi. Don't know what to do with it, just pointing it out. Uh, holiday market now, so also pretty thin here for the next uh, sort of 20 hours. Let's see what the hourly looks like. Again, not sure. Um, Euro doji yesterday, we sort of attacked that 94 level, didn't follow through 80, which has been trading around. I don't think this is going anywhere. Um, downside looks more interesting just because of what's happening in rates. Uh, but perfect doji yesterday kind of middle of the range doji so not super important but we'll see where where she floats around to we're expecting a very muted range today cable on the other hand uh, made range highs up at 132.80 big green bar there um, I, I would expect this to sort of be running out of puff up here bunch of highs now at 80 um, is this going to uh, sort of slither back down? I think eventually it is. We don't have any uh, risk on. We <clears throat> we tried from the long side yesterday with limited uh, success. Got a bit choppy here. This was the European day, as you can see. It was basically 1376 all day, up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, Will cable turn? I think it probably will. Dollar Swiss, on the other hand, looks to set to go higher still again. So you want to be buying this on dips. These dips are tricky, right? Got a lot of fresh air down here after this big move on Monday. Um, where do you buy today? Let's look at the dailies. Should be a doji for yesterday. Kind of, not really. A pretty green day. Um, I don't know. Probably 91.15 to sort of 90.85. You want to try and buy some dollar Swiss on just sort of a sloppy, rangy type day. Dollar yen also is rates driven now, so you want to try and pick this up on the bid. Um, I don't know. 105. We already printed that. You actually might want to buy this through the highs. If it wasn't a holiday day, that's what I would recommend, but um, since we're on a holiday day, I would just say don't trade today. Uh, we're certainly not going to be doing too much here, but you want to collect this. Dollar CAD, big turn bar on Monday. Couldn't really get going through 30. We, we ran some stops through 30. Um, now 130.50 sort of the next hurdle uh, if you want to be long dollars dollar cad's not your horse uh, your horse should be uh, short euro or long dollar yen dollar cad can do a lot of different things here so we'll see gold uh, printed an inside day which is not, not surprising after this big red day 
We'll sell gold now through this low, 1847. Otherwise, you just have to sit tight. This could wander back up to 1900, uh, even 1910. It's probably a fade up there. Uh, but gold's going to struggle. Why is it going to struggle? This is why. Here's your long bond. We've been talking about this for months. It's now going 11 handles. It's going to go a lot, lot lower. Uh, the next stop. Uh, well, let's look at the let's look at the rate side of this. So here we are, uh, right at this high here. Next stop is 194. Um, pay attention. Pay attention to interest rates here. This, uh, if this vaccine comes quickly and we have all this sit stimulus floating around in a market, um, could be massive inflation. And this would catch the world uh, off guard. God forbid if some of these central banks um, start reducing accom accommodative policy. Um, careful careful here interest rates are driving the boat right now so keep a close eye on this this is the long bond and here's the 10 just for psychological reasons I guess one double oh one percent on the 10 year is going to be interesting um, interest rates globally are bid everything boons bang BTPs Where are you, BTPs? BTPs. Bang. Um, this, over the long term, is actually not great for stocks. This is good for banking stocks. Our buddy over there in, uh, at Market Year was talking about banking stocks are undervalued, and I, I made a joke saying the moon looks close, looks close when you look at it at the naked eye. But if rates do go higher, banking stocks... Um, should uh, find a floor, although we are not buyers of banking stocks. Um, having worked with banks uh, for years, uh, we just naturally don't really like them. Anyway, what else? Uh, dollars are. Looks like it's turning. Higher rates in the U.S. is going to hurt ES. Biden helps ES. Where this goes is not super clear. Dollar max is even less clear. No idea on that. Um, main theme today is it's a holiday. Um, keep your trading light if you are going to trade today. We're going to take the day off um, unless we get to some of these extremes. But um, short bonds is short fixed income anywhere in the world is, is the trade to be on and then you want to try and buy dollars so um, fade into a long dollar position uh, if you are going to trade today all right that's all I got uh, if you do are taking the day off enjoy it uh, if not good luck out there talk to you tomorrow ciao